how corruption happens i said that you know every child is born innocent but gets corrupted huh? jesus has laid out the whole sequence how does this happen i thought this is very significant if we want to bring any change into our life this statement is very significant look at it what he's saying he's saying first the small suggestion comes to you yeah small suggestion a small suggestion will come that um anything any negative suggestion yeah small suggestion now when you entertain this small suggestion which let's look at suggestion as a thought a small thought enters into your mind you give your energy to this thought by way of imagining on top of that thought so thought comes or a suggestion from outside comes you give your attention to this you do not reject it you entertain this this starts to become imagination for you you start to now imagine things based on this thought or external suggestion yeah then you start to derive some kind of a pleasure out of this imagination yeah we we get entangled with the imagination because we draw, start to draw some kind of you know pleasure from this imagination go slow relate with it this happens in every experience yeah in the third stage when you started deriving pleasure out of this imagination you start to become attached with this thought slash imagination slash pleasure you start to become attached with this you know attachment you are becoming bound by this yeah you're getting entangled in this you're becoming attached with this jesus call it evil affection i'm not using the word evil i'm saying attachment you're becoming attached with this now the moment you start to become attached with this you start to identify with this now this start to becomes your reality in your mind all is the, of this is happening in your mind now this starts to become your reality now because you have identified it with it it has become your reality it's very difficult for you to get away from it to get out of it to get liberated from it this is how we get entangled with anything so let's take an example of the friends who are not happy with me because i'm speaking on jesus so they might have got the thought or somebody might have planted in suggestion that hinduism is good or sikhism is good or buddhism is good and christianity is not good because of a certain thing yeah a thought might have come or a suggestion might have come first thing then they started entertaining that thought slash suggestion and they started imagining things <laughs> when you start to imagine things and you google no matter what you imagine the google will give you supportive documents you know that's the beauty about google <laughs> whatever you imagine whichever direction you want to look into you will get supportive documents of that online so the thought starts to become imagination now you're imagining that whole sequence or whole thing or whole division you're imagining now now because you're imagining it you start to drive pleasure out of it which means you start to say yes yes that's how it is yes yes that community is not right yes yes that community is very wrong yes yes that community is very fundamentalist etc 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 we start to drive pleasure out of it we start to talk evil of others there's a recent research on human psychology and they say that you know when people who talk evil of others they are basically very weak in themselves and they derive pleasure in talking bad or evil about others <laughs> they derive pleasure out of it because of this inherent weakness look at it that's exactly what jesus is saying 2000 years ago so from that imagination the pleasure you start to drive and when you start to drive pleasure then an attachment starts to happen that my community is better than your community my religion is better than your religion so on and so forth 
and we start to become absolutely attached untangled with this we start to totally identify ourselves as part of only one community one religion and the damage is done and i have become separated from the rest and i have created my own walls my own prison now this will breed more evil in me <laughs> that's what jesus is saying this is the chronological order this is how the the process of identification or entanglement really happens i'm using the example of one community over other but you can look into any example within your own life every small thing every small corruption enters your system in this way every small corruption this is the process through which we corrupt the young children mm-hmm.